We're simple creatures and that's not a bad thing. We're simple, we're powerful, we're intuitive, we're instinctual. We, we have lots of cool things about us, but we like things simple. And so that's what I've always been about with my coaching is keep it simple. And so we get your vitality back. So if you're a man and you don't have vitality, you, know, you can't get it up. You don't have the energy to go lift weights or go surfing or do the things that you love to do. Reach out to me. If you're not clear on the direction in life, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I know that some being or I just am feeling extremely overwhelmed all the time. Reach out to me. And if your confidence has been shattered and you want to get that back, reach out to me. Welcome to the Project Vitality podcast. In this episode, a solo episode with me, I'm going to explain about what I do, how I help people, my vision and movement that I'm leading. So I, in my, if you haven't watched the previous intro episode, I'd highly recommend uh, listening to that because it's all about how I got to where I am today. Now, what I actually do is, yes, I'm a Czech practitioner. Yes, I'm a doTERRA diamond leader. Yes, I have co-founder of Noosa Goat Co. doing a podcast and I do lots of things. But who do I help? That's probably the most important question is really I help me, people like me when I first started with this. I was making good money. I had a relatively easy lifestyle and then something happened and my life shifted. And so I started to really question who I was. I started to look to, to understand that there was more to life and that I need, needed to do things in a different way. And so the reason I like working with people like me back then is I was willing to give anything a go and I was willing to be coached and be held accountable and go all in. So these are the people that I love working with, absolutely adore, because what happens is if people go all in, they get results. If they invest their hard-earned money and resources into something and they are committed at that deepest level, they will see dramatic shifts in their life. So the people that I love working with are people that are burnt out, like adrenally exhausted to the point where getting out of bed is a challenge. Making it through a whole day without needing a sleep is a challenge. But then on the other side, I know for me, I also struggled to sleep at night. So I was tired all day and then when I went to bed, I couldn't sleep either. So I love working with those people because I've been there, done that. I love working with people that are depressed, anxious, and stressed and overwhelmed. But there's there's a couple of little things that I'm very clear of. I like working with the people that have a bigger vision for their life. Like they know that there's more. They Deep down they know that they were here to create something. And the reason that they've actually hit where they are is because they were on the wrong path. So what happens is the universe, your, the wisdom of your body, puts a halt and stops you in your tracks and it's bloody brutal like I'm not saying it's an easy thing but it's there to serve you and so when you're stopped and you're put in your tracks and you literally can't see a way then someone like me can help be that guiding light as the lighthouse to support you then to get to be your own lighthouse and that's my one-on-one. -on -one. I help people be grounded as a lighthouse. And what is a lighthouse? A lighthouse is shines bright, guides people home. It's a safe passage. It's, it's a beacon of hope. It's weathered many a storm and is still strong and is still stable and is still unshakable. So that's what I teach people to be. And the reason I love working with people when they've hit something or they know that they're going down a path that they're going to hit something. And so in our modern world, people can have a lot of money, but they, they can also not really commit and they can kind of try to throw money at problems. Okay, well, I'll try to do that. I'll try to do that. But to work with someone like me as a check practitioner, you really need to actually be committed. And so you can't just have the money and just throw it and just not do the work. Uh, you've got to be willing to be accountable and you've got to be willing to be coachable. And that's pretty damn important darn important now so i talked about i love working my three things which is vitality i love watching that life force come back into people and it's so inspiring and so motivating 
to help clients get to that space. And once you've got that vitality back, to, to really start to dream bigger. So I truly love working with the visionaries of the world. They want to make change. They want to impact something. So these type of people are great to work with. Only if they will commit to health being the foundation. And so that's really what I do is I help people understand that health is the foundation for every single thing that you build. And without that health, nothing matters. It will all just fall to shit. And so you can be a millionaire. You can be crushing in business. You can have everything in the entire world all the toys, but if you don't look after your health, that will all disappear as soon as your health goes to shit and it'll go like that and instant. something will happen to bring you back into your truth. And so if you're proactive and you're willing to actually invest in yourself before you hit rock bottom, for me, I had to wait till I hit rock bottom and I had, that's just the way it is. That's how I learned. I learned the harsh way. I didn't listen to my body and then what happened was my body took back over and said, you're not going down this path anymore and you're going to have to sit in your own shit. You're going to have to be depressed because when you're in depression, it's that deep rest. The body needed time to heal because I had ignored the, I don't know if anyone's heard of the feather, the the car and, and the bus. So it's like, I oh know it's a feather, the brick and the bus. You ignore the feather, like you get hit by a feather, like it's soft, it's subtle, it's, it's, you have to be listening or looking for it almost. Then you're hit by a brick. Oh, that, that really hurt. Then you ignore that hit by a bus. To me personally, I probably ignored the bus, ignored the train, then got hit by a bloody asteroid um, to really wake me up. And so I don't know where you are on that. And you don't have to wait to hit the asteroid. You just have to be bloody committed. And the thing is with entrepreneurs and business owners, the more you invest in your health, the actual more money you make and the more impact that you make. And I like working with the ones that aren't just worried about money. They also want impact. They understand that money is important to create impact and you need resources to create impact. And they're willing to invest in the areas to get the job done. But they're also willing to be in in it with it, not just trying to use money as, as a way. So those are the people I like working with. The other people that I really am good at working with is through my doTERRA business is people that are really struggling with their emotions. They might not have too much resources, but they've got a couple of hundred dollars, maybe a few hundred dollars a month where they can start shifting that into their health. And so those people I can really help and the doTERRA product range is the bee's knees for that. And that's super simple. Just depending on what your major first issue is, I can, you know, I've been using those now for 10 years, I can direct you very clearly to where is going to be the best starting point to give you the most bang for your buck. And the reason we want to do the most bang for our buck is because then it expands our next level and our next tier. So for example, my podcast is my first tier. It's free. It's information. You might get inspired. You might learn something about health or business or whatever, entrepreneurship and farming and anything to do with holistic health. You might learn a bit and, and take that wisdom and apply it to your life. But the, you know, the next level is using the oils, getting a kit of oils. Like I can tailor make a starter pack. I can ship them to anywhere in the world. So that's no trouble. That really helps you. You start being surrounded by people that are also wanting to make change in their life to be educated on other ways of health and so that opens up and then the next tier is working with me one-on-one -on -one as a as a check practitioner i only work with people for 12 months i'm, I'm not doing like a 30-day challenge or any bullshit like that the truth is if you really want your health back it's going to take a good three to six months to just get that foundation strong. And then when you've got, once you've got that foundation strong, then you can start expanding your vision into what you're going to create. And so for me, the biggest impact is by helping those that are going to make the impact. And like if I just did a three-month cut, yeah, you might get your health back on track a bit, but then, then what? Whereas I can really help you on that entrepreneurship journey and really grounding that vision down into reality because it takes systems it takes all sorts of tweaking and also understanding who you are so one of the skill sets i have which I, I talk about a bit but i'm extremely intuitive like i can tell straight away what's wrong with people like they can tell me their story and but straight away i know what's the next step for them and i'm pretty bloody good at it and so 
you know, you got to understand that when you've been doing it for this long, there's pattern recognition. You can look at somebody. It's the way their posture is, the way their skin is, the way their eyes are. Like you can see even here, like my sleep is not the best. Like I'm really, it's really getting a lot better, but it's always been a bit of a challenge for mine. So you can see things. You can see subtle things in the way people's bodies are, their faces are, uh, their smiles, their teeth. Like there's so much you can see from people that like after doing this for a while, a while, it's just pattern recognition. And then there's an intuitive part where I can feel what they're going through as well. And all my other skill sets that I've learned along the way, that's why I'm so good at what I do. And that's why I've always offered a hundred percent money back guarantee because I know, I know that I'm good at, it's just the way it is. When you're in that top 1% of healers and practitioners in the world, you're confident in what you do because you're good at what you do. And so, yeah, so I love working with those people. And then the other people that I really enjoy being around and, and growing with is people that want to build a doTERRA business with me. Like I love the doTERRA business model. When I look at my brand, that health dude, doTERRA is like it's a fulfillment partner. And so what that means is I've got my brand and there's lots of things I can teach people about health and wellness, but doTERRA, I can get products shipped to them anywhere in the world. Like it's it's phenomenal. And so that really helps my brand because I can help more people get healthier that maybe can't afford my one-on-one -on -one services, but they can afford to get some oils and get some other doTERRA products like their collagen, which is the bee's knees. So that's uh, who I like working with. Those people, what, what I find with people that want to build a wellness brand or, or want to build an empire I love doTERRA because it's the product side of my business. So you've got service, products and services. And so doTERRA is a product that I know works and I know the, you know, understand the compensation plan. I understand the, like everything about it. They've got a really rock solid business model of the way they source their oils and, you know, they're thinking 40, 50, 60 years in advance. So that's something I know that's going to help build my wellness brand. What I love about network marketing, what I love about doTERRA is it's so easy. You're just telling somebody about a product and they're buying it and you get a little bit of money. And then you build your network to enough people and then you can have a very decent income and lifestyle. And so the biggest things that I have got from that part of like what I do is the money's good. Yeah, money's great. And with all businesses, it takes time. Like I'm not one of these people that's going to bullshit and go, well, you know, you haven't built a brand at all. You just want to start a business. You're going to be a millionaire in like two weeks. No, depending on where you are, if you've already got a successful business, you can plug your customers straight in and boom, like you can convert 20, 30% of those people straight into your doTERRA business. And it's going to be easy. If you don't have your network, it's going to be harder. You've got to build your network and your network is really, you know, your net worth. And so I really love that because what I've gained from this myself is, yes, understanding of business, but also the deeper understanding of who I am. Like I've been on humanitarian trips. I've been on sourcing trips. I've been around extremely emotionally intelligent women and men and also people that are very, very dedicated to service. And I didn't know this type of person existed. And so I've been around some like, very extremely wealthy and powerful people that are humble as fuck and they are making such a big difference in the world so that's what I love about it and so the reason I started my doTERRA business I didn't have resources I didn't have 100 grand 200 grand to go start a bricks and mortar business so I started just selling products and educating people on products. And to be honest, one of the biggest things that's lacking these days is a lot of the basic education. 99% of the people are unhealthy. And so to shift them into just a basic level of health, it's a lot of education, teaching them the, the, the basics of essential oils and the basics of health and teaching them about emotions. So I really love working with those entrepreneurial minded people that really already have a business or have the that vitality and that power inside them and that resilience inside them them to build a business you know truth is building a business is just getting a lot of no's getting rejected a lot us men we're probably better at that than women um, because we're used to it but getting a lot of rejection and then still going and keep going you know sometimes you'll get knocked down in life certain things happen and you know you will your life will shift 
and it's unexpected and you need to take time for rest. But if you understand that if you invest in your health and you continually invest in your health and you continually improve yourself and surround yourself and are willing to be coachable by great people, you will be successful. And so that's the type of people I love working with. And the last is men. And so my business really shifted. I kind of got a message from spirit, God, whatever you want to call it, that I need to start working with men more. And so to all the men out there, if you're willing to invest in whatever level of resources you have, like I'm pretty good at guiding men. I've had some great, many client successes. I get messages all the time from people about certain things that have helped them. Sometimes it's even like years later, or sometimes I'll meet people in person. Oh, that thing that you said to do, like that really shifted my life. And so, you know, what I'm good with men is those three things. Like men, we're simple creatures and that's not a bad thing. We're simple, we're powerful, we're intuitive, we're instinctual. We we have lots of cool things about us, but we like things simple. And so that's what I've always been about with my coaching is keep it simple. And so we get your vitality back. So if you're a man and you don't have vitality, you know, you can't get it up. You you know, you, you don't have the energy to go lift weights or go surfing or do the things that you love to do. Reach out to me. If you're not clear on the direction in life, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I know there's something or I just am feeling extremely overwhelmed all the time. Reach out to me. And if you your confidence has been shattered and you want to get that back, reach out to me. Now, understand if your confidence is shattered, I'm still going to make you get your vitality back first. Okay. Because truth is, once your body is strong and healthy and vibrant, your confidence just grows naturally. And then we can work on some of the deeper layers of emotional trauma and all that type of stuff. So that's that's who I like working with. And so my vision is really to create more lighthouses. It's very simple. More hope for humanity, more beacons of hope for humanity. Like I get super excited and passionate about this because if we have more people that truly have life force, that are good-hearted people, like they give a shit about other people. If we have those people healthy and wealthy and confident and just really, really clear on where they're going, then the world shifts very, very quickly. If we don't, then the world shifts very, very quickly, but not in the, the most optimal way. And so I'm all for going along this optimal timeline of humanity because I believe that we're at this this breaking point of we're either going to break through or we're going to break down. And so a lot of people are in that breakdown mode right now. All I say is invest your resources into those that help you, whether it's going to be me, somebody else, I don't care. Find the right person that's going to be that that guiding light um, for you until you you know start to believe in yourself and get that energy back and do all the things. So that you know that's my vision. It's very clear get more lighthouses, you know, get more clean food in the world. That's why the the dairy is helping people to stop poisoning themselves, stop poisoning their minds, their bodies, their hearts, their souls. And the way to do this is through creating more leaders. It's simple as that. I'll do education and I'll do all those type of things because I truly believe if we, the body is not poisoned, if this vessel is not poisoned, then it's, it can really, really rock. And it can really make some serious bloody change in the world. Thank you for listening. Now, the podcast, as I said in the the shorter intro, is going to be based on kind of four areas. Holistic health, which is kind of the encompassing aspect of it. Uh, So healers and holistic health. Farming, so regenerative farming, real farmers, people that are dedicated to making real food and, and healing the planet through healing the people and through healing the land, and entrepreneurs, and people that have a vision and and they want to create something and they're committed to create something. These are the type of people I like interviewing and like being around because they're exciting, they're fun, they think differently, they do things differently. They're willing to challenge you. A little bit unpredictable, a little bit mysterious, but also really good people. Like I don't want to work with bankers. I don't want to interview wankers. I want to interview people that are have, they've still got their fun and their wit about them and they don't take themselves too serious. Even though they're a genius, even though they're an expert, even though they're, they're crushing it, they're, they're still humble enough to laugh at themselves. So uh, this is me signing out. Until next episode, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to have an episode every single week 
And so depending on your time zone, it'll be different, but there'll be an episode every week. So let's get it done. 